Welcome to the Feminist Symposium. Firstly, I want to thank Sachi and the President, Steve Britton, for hosting this symposium. Unfortunately, he can't be with us today, but uh, he is the person who enabled it to happen. And as well as the administration and staff for helping realize this event. All this began when I was asked by the director of New York University, Alan Toscana, to give a lecture on certain works in their collection, and which in turn, to give it a feminist interpretation of certain works in their collection. And in turn, it developed into this day-long exploration of the relationships between art and feminism. And so I have to thank Alan Toscana for this inspiration. We are fortunate to have assembled a special group for you to hear today. We have Dr. Elizabeth Sackler, is a public historian and an arts matron, and the founder of the Elizabeth A. Sackler Center for Feminist Art at the Brooklyn Museum, which was inaugurated in 2007 with the permanent placement of the Judy Chicago iconic dinner party. It is from this piece that we derive our title. Elizabeth, through her lifelong fight on behalf of social causes, well knows that change and progress are contingent upon evolu evolution and adaptation. And therefore, we must continually revisit, revise, and reset the proverbial table at which everyone deserves a place. We have Catherine Morris, senior curator for the Sackler Center for Feminist Art, whose expertise and experience will be enlightening to us all. Her curating of the recent exhibition, entitled We Wanted a Revolution, provided a critical gathering of work by radical black women, artists and activists working in the United States from 1965 to 1985, and which highlighted issues that resonate throughout current political movements. Dr. Helen Waterson, Dr. Maria Antonia Rinaldi and I will each be offering fresh insights into the rich layers of Italian Renaissance with an emphasis on the roles, functions, attitudes, and social concerns that surrounded the creation of many famous works of art around this city. It is an acknowledgement of the female reading we apply to these subjects that we have chosen to speak of her story today. Finally, Molly de Grazia, whose work is on view in the Sachi Gallery, will offer a personal perspective on the role of feminism in her practice. We are looking at two themes today, that of the challenge that confronts contemporary female artists in their struggle for recognition and respect, and because of we are in historic Florence, that of how feminism can inform and illuminate a study of the past. I am hoping today that you, the attendees, will be charged with renewed motivation in your creative work, and from the historical part of his symposium, we'll see landmarks in Florence with new eyes. Whether in looking at Donatello's Judith or going to the ex-convent and ex-prison of the Le Morate, you will understand more about the female contents that behind these sites and works of art. Most of all, I hope that today will prove timely and useful in asserting the need for equality in our changing world. As it is often said within the movement, women's rights are human rights. So let us look at her, her history and map a path for the future. So I would like to invite Elizabeth to come and be our first speaker. <laughs> 